Okay, folks, this really shocked me. Elon Musk is suing OpenAI because he's accusing them of putting profit before humanity and breaking away from their original mission of developing artificial general intelligence, or AGI, for the benefit of all. According to the court documents I got my hands on, Elon alleges that OpenAI went completely off the rails by partnering up with Microsoft to keep their potential world-changing AI tech under lock and key for profit. This is a total 180 from OpenAI's roots as a transparent, open-source operation aimed at ensuring AGI benefits society as a whole. Let me lay out some juicy details from the lawsuit that made my jaw drop. First off, the lawsuit lays out how over the past century, America's economy fundamentally shifted from being labor-based to being driven primarily by human intelligence and knowledge workers. It states that value creation is now tied to things like reasoning, creativity, and problem solving that only the human mind could accomplish. However, the filing alleges that a new shift was already taking place, one where advanced AI systems could potentially outperform and outmode human intelligence across a massive array of domains. We're talking chess algorithms beating grandmasters, speech recognition outclassing human transcribers, that type of narrow but superhuman capability. Now, here's where it gets heavy. Elon Musk and others like the late Stephen Hawking have long recognized that taking AI to its ultimate form of artificial general intelligence, an AI system with human-level reasoning and capability across unlimited tasks, poses a literal existential risk to humanity's continued existence. Well, think about it. If we create a super-intelligent AI that's smarter than any human across every conceivable discipline, what's to stop it from perceiving us as an obsolete legacy system ripe for replacement? I think that's the doomsday scenario Elon and the AI risk crews have been trying to safeguard against for years. Certainly, however, given Elon's recent behavior towards his rival companies, I can't help but wonder if this move also had a Personal advantage for him, perhaps. What do you think, folks? Anyway, according to Musk's narrative in a lawsuit, there's another camp that essentially sees this world-altering AGI tech as a potential goldmine for profit and power rather than an existential risk. He claims Google marked a pivotal moment in 2014 by taking over DeepMind, one of the pioneering AI research labs. Apparently, when Musk tried warning Google's leadership like Larry Page about the dangers of advanced AI development, dude straight up dismissed him saying AI would be the next stage of evolution and that favoring biological humans over machine intelligence was being speciesist. (laughs) It's wild stuff. Fast forward to 2015 and the lawsuit alleges Musk may have found an ideological ally in this whole AGI debate. A guy named Sam Altman who at the time was president of the Y Combinator startup Accelerator. Altman openly shared Musk's concerns about potentially developing superhuman AI technology that could threaten humanity's existence. Musk and Altman ended up being the driving forces behind founding OpenAI, a non-profit lab with a core mission of pursuing advanced AI capabilities like AGI in an open, transparent, and ethical way to benefit all humanity rather than any single corporation or group of individuals. But, according to Musk's lawsuit, by March 2023, OpenAI and Altman had gone completely rogue on those original governing principles. It states they released GPT-4, a language model capable of outperforming average humans at reasoning tasks while keeping its underlying design details completely cloaked from public view, driven by commercial interests with Microsoft. Not only that, but the lawsuit claims GPT-4 could reasonably be viewed as an early yet incomplete version of AGI, based on statements from AI researchers. It further alleges OpenAI has been cooking up an even more powerful model dubbed QSTAR, or QUA, with a stronger claim to being true AGI. We posted a video a few months ago about the speculations on QSTAR, although rest assured that we will provide you with new updates on this soon. Anyway, the lawsuit states this system has an even stronger claim to AGI than GPT-4, which is already purported to be an early form of artificial general intelligence, according to AI researchers. 
Now, here's where the cloak and dagger stuff really ramps up. Apparently, after inconsistencies with OpenAI's board, Altman got fired in November 2023 over a loss of confidence in his leadership. But then he and Microsoft allegedly exploited their leverage to force a majority of OpenAI board members, including the chief scientist, to resign. Now, here's where it gets really crazy. The court document mentions, putting on behalf, OpenAI is competent of making exact progress with regard to AGI development. It cites new reports alleging there was an internal rift among OpenAI executives and the board regarding safety concerns and the potential threat posed by OpenAI's next generation QA. Let that marinate for a second. The eccentric billionaire Elon Musk, who has railed against the existential risks of advanced AI for years, is now alleging the leadership shakeup at OpenAI that he co-founded happened because they unlocked the secret to AGI and there was controversy over the threats this system posed. That's some straight Terminator-level gossip in this lawsuit, if true. Like, were some of the old OpenAI guards ousted because they were too concerned about the civilization upending risks posed by this AGI breakthrough? Did they want to pump the brakes for safety? Perhaps while others were eager to push full steam ahead and partner up with Microsoft to commercialize and profit from it. Anyway, folks, if you think this video has given you valuable information and something to think about, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Bringing you information in a timely manner comes at a significant cost to us. And at this moment, YouTube is not helping us too much. It only costs a single click. Now, back to the matter at hand. Altman got reinstated as CEO with a new slate of board members hand-picked by him and Microsoft. You can see why the makeup of OpenAI's new board, inherited by Altman, is such a point of contention for Musk too. His lawsuit claims the current board lacks substantial AI expertise and was intentionally constructed to be ill-equipped to independently assess when AGI has been accomplished. That way, as the filing bluntly states, OpenAI can just keep pushing back the day when AGI is officially declared achieved in order to keep collecting Microsoft's pre-AGI licensing fees in perpetuity. OpenAI's attainment of AGI will always be a day away, ensuring Microsoft will be licensed OpenAI's latest technology and the public will be shut out. To understand the sheer magnitude of what Musk is alleging here, you have to go back to the founding origins of OpenAI that are laid out in painstaking detail. The lawsuit traces how Musk first raised concerns about the dangers of superintelligent AI to people like Google's leadership in the early 2010s, only to be essentially laughed off as a joke. It alleges Musk saw the Google DeepMind acquisition in 2014 as a pivotal moment where transformative AI capabilities could get subsumed by a profit-hungry big tech behemoth without proper safeguards. This appears to be what kick-started his quest to develop AGI through ethical means by founding OpenAI as a transparent non-profit in 2015, alongside the like-minded Sam Altman. So you can see why Musk, already arguably the world's most prominent voice calling for AI safety, would view the latest actions by OpenAI's leadership as a complete betrayal of its founding principles to develop AGI for the benefit of all humanity. Not to get all philosophical, but there are shades of Frankenstein's monster turning against its creator here. So, in summary, the crux of Musk's lawsuit alleges this. Rather than adhering to its founding mission of developing AGI as a transparent, open-source resource for the benefit of humanity, OpenAI has instead been captured as a de facto subsidiary of Microsoft, developing closed-source AI like GPT-4 and QSTAR primarily to maximize profits. There are wild quotes about Microsoft CEO boasting that it wouldn't matter if OpenAI disappeared because they control all the important resources like data and computers. Musk portrays it as OpenAI selling out its original principles for cold, hard cash by cozying up to the biggest tech behemoth around. 
At the end of the day, the lawsuit aims to legally compel OpenAI to get back on track with its founding agreement of developing potential AGI openly and ethically for humanity's benefit rather than being a secretive AI profit engine for itself, its leaders like Altman, and its corporate overlords at Microsoft. So in a nutshell, we're talking about Elon Musk claiming this world-altering AGI tech that could represent one of the biggest events in the history of our species has potentially been achieved in secret and then commandeered for personal and corporate enrichment rather than being disseminated transparently for humanity's collective well-being like was promised. You can definitely see why these are some hugely weighty allegations carrying civilization-level implications if even partially true. This whole legal fight could ultimately determine whether transformative AGI capabilities gets monopolized by a handful of enriched tech giants or if it gets responsibly shared as a public resource as originally intended. High stakes stuff for real. This is quickly shaping up to be one of the most consequential legal battles since the dawn of the tech era. I'll certainly be following every twist and turn because it has shades of the words Musk himself warned Larry Page with years ago about AI being perhaps the greatest existential threat facing humanity today. Okay, folks, let me know your thoughts on this wild Elon versus open AI saga. And as always, drop an AGI in the comments if you made it this far. While you're at it, hit a like on the video to show your support. It really does help a ton. I'll be back before too long with the next batch of AI news. Until next time, folks, you all take care.